three uniform echo echo. I got you about a five four fifty four US one three three two in Pennsylvania. Back to you. Excellent. You about uh, five six here in uh, Park, Toronto, Canada as well. Today. Appreciate you hunting 7-3. 7 Hello everyone, Global Jet Pilot. My name is Alex. Today I will be conducting an emergency preparedness test with uh, portable HF radio. Uh, today we'll be just using a bit of a forest here to kind of camouflage it and run a 25 feet uh, DX engineering LMR 400 ultraflex cable. Install the spike into the ground and then place the uh, level right on top of it to uh, level it up and make it uh, as perpendicular to the uh, surface as possible. It shouldn't be a problem. GNC uh, Radio MC750 portable HF antenna with uh, some of the modification that I made. So here's the uh, base of the MC750 antenna and it's uh, glass and metal so you can literally press against it. Uh, next step is uh, we'll uh, take four radials and uh, run in four different directions. So they're about uh, five and a half feet long. The uh, whole setup takes about five minutes uh, if there's no hustle. Now with the uh, radial and base setup complete, I'm just going to build the antenna itself. I have a 17 and a half foot antenna, which is long enough. And I actually have to trim it down a few inches to uh, uh, tune the antenna first. And basically what I'm doing, I'm shortening antenna because it's longer than it's needed to, uh, to give it the perfect uh, resonance. So as you can see, uh, I just started it, so it's 1.2 it's WR. So we'll match it up to 1.1, and then we'll connect the cable to the uh, radio, and uh, it's pretty much good to go. So the next important step is to uh, the ground the unit itself. You always have to ground the unit, regardless, to protect it from static I mean, discharge, uh, especially if you're working outdoor. So what I'm gonna do, I uh, build a custom spike. I put the 8 gauge cable with the uh, clamp and then on the unit itself there's an antenna input and uh, the uh, ground input. So we'll uh, put it on the bottom on the uh, antenna input. We'll put the end of the cable. So now everything is uh, setup. Here is a portable setup that I uh, custom built myself uh, within a Pelican case and a hard foam. Uh, basically everything is uh, attached to the bottom of the case. We got the uh, FC891 uh, ASU radio with the ASU antenna tuner, auto tuner, FC50. Uh, power queen battery, 50 amp hour. Uh, normally it will last you uh, 20 hours of the light use or heavy use, uh, looking about uh, 12 hours. Uh, just right on the other side here, turn the unit. I've got the uh, diamond switch. Uh, so it goes from the uh, dummy loader, made by diamond as well, uh, to the antenna with the uh, LMR cables as well. It's here and it's uh, more than enough for the uh, HF uh, frequency band. And if I'm gonna go live, switch it down, and uh, we're good to go. Now, right on top of here, I've installed the uh, uh, load control units and uh, two uh, DC power breakers on uh, each power source. So, to turn the power unit on, you can see I've got 13.4 volts can go ahead and turn the uh, radio. I'm already picking up something on the uh,
right, Kilo Alpha 9, a Fox Truck Charlie Bravo. Roger, Radio. Roger. Uh, VA3 UAE Canada Toronto for the radio check. RSS, yep, I hear you down here, 5 9 in Virginia. Excellent, you 5 9 as well here in Toronto. All right, thank you, buddy. You have a great day. You too. Alex Victor Alpha 3 uniform Echo Echo. Uh, good to hear from you for the first time in my log. It's a 5 4. Yes, uh, thank you as well. Uh, I'm receiving you uh, about 5, 7, just uh, testing a portable from the uh, park in uh, Toronto, Canada on 100 watt, KCFT891. QRZ Parks on the air, KC3, UKC. 